Thank you very much to all the speakers. Um, when I was involved in the Arctic Council during the US chairmanship a few years ago, the observers, particularly the observer states, came to me repeatedly and said, we want to be more involved. We want to contribute more. We want to be more engaged. And I think the Arctic Council over time has found some ways to uh, make better use of the energy and the ideas and some of the resources of the observers, particularly the Arctic, State Obser uh, the, the Arctic Council State Observers. So now looking ahead, the Finnish chairmanship of the Arctic Council will be coming to an end in uh, the spring. The Icelandic chairmanship will follow that. And there may be some new issues on the table. And there is one issue I'm thinking about right now. It has to do with marine plastic pollution. It's a growing problem in the Arctic. It's a growing problem around the world. Uh, but much of the plastic that winds up as pollution in the ocean comes from outside the Arctic region. And so I have a question for Ambassador Park, Ambassador Gao, and Ambassador Yamamoto. Do you think, as observer states, uh, Korea, China, and Japan would be willing to participate in an initiative to try to combat the problem of plastic pollution in the Arctic uh, through the Arctic Council? Thank you, uh, Ambassador Bolton, for the good question. Uh, yesterday, I have some uh, brief discussion the, with the Ambassador Aina the, on that issue. So uh, personally, I have a keen interest in uh, the addressing the plastic issue. So plastic is uh, uh, the big problem the over the world, even in Iceland. Iceland had a very the good the glacier water, but uh, they have a plastic in the tap water, they said. So nobody cannot uh, the, uh, avoid the problem of plastic issue. So the Korea will willing to the take up this issue. So in relation to uh, Arctic Council. And also, if possible, we would like to discuss this issue uh, the, in the context of the tripartite, the high level dialogue. Yes. Um, on behalf of the foreign ministry, I can only <laughs> uh, speak uh, now that uh, we uh, would be uh, very uh, happy to uh, join that if if uh, the Arctic Council uh, established a new working group on uh, marine uh, plastic. Uh, so we uh, we uh, support the establishment of this uh, working group and um, uh, contribute to the work. Uh, of course, we will uh, talk to our colleagues in the Ministry of uh, the Environment. Uh, we don't have the expertise uh, to deal with plastics. Uh, but I think uh, uh, this uh, is a um, uh, very uh, quickly increasing uh, topic uh, also in China. We, uh, I know that uh, uh, our uh, Premier has uh, discussed this uh, from the uh, 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 technology uh, perspective with uh, some of the Chinese uh, uh, companies and they are developing uh, a new material to replace uh, the so-called plastic. Uh, and I uh, uh, have the information that uh, technically they have uh, made very important progress. Uh, so it is uh, a very good news for me. And I also know that a number of Chinese scientists has joined uh, different uh, scientific programs already of uh, different Arctic uh, states, uh, for instance, Norway. Uh, already uh, uh, a part of the uh, scientific research of uh, the uh, uh, microplastic, uh, uh, marine micro. So I think we have already, in some way, uh, already joined this uh, global, uh, emerging uh, global uh, efforts already. 
Uh, so the the uh, the the only thing that uh, waiting for us is to uh, to organize and to coordinate at the state uh, level. Uh, so I uh, I will um, uh, really take this uh, question home and uh, start to uh, really look from my perspective uh, 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 from the or say the state level uh, from this perspective uh, to to see uh, what needs to be done at this level. Thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, for, for addressing that uh, very important issue. I think that's a very good uh, uh, question to begin with. And then uh, I can tell you that my government uh, is uh, really accelerating uh, our efforts to address that issue in general, uh, marine plastic issue. So the uh, we will just uh, uh, thinking of uh, new initiative to tackle that issue in general. And then the uh, regarding the uh, its uh, effects uh, on the Arctic, I think that's a very important issue. I think, and the person is speaking. Why not? I think the. Uh, uh, personally speaking, we are very much willing to contribute uh, to uh, any deliberation uh, Arctic Council may have on uh, that issue. And in general, uh, relations, uh, sort of the role observers uh, could play uh, in the Arctic Council. I think that's very important. And then, uh, to be honest with you, I'm a relatively new on this position. And then I attended uh, some meeting first time uh, uh, in, in Finland last time. And that, that was an interesting uh, experience for me. And then I appreciate uh, Finland chairmanship for really giving us opportunity to really speak uh, uh, for uh, some time uh, uh, on uh, the uh, biodiversity at the last meeting. So uh, while I appreciate the efforts of uh, Finland chairmanship, I think uh, uh, I think we can do more. So, uh, as I said at a speech, not just as ob observer, I think uh, uh, Japan and China, Korea, maybe the same. We are pa important partners uh, for the Arctic affairs. So, I think in general, uh, we are very much uh, willing to uh, play a more important role in the Arctic Council. Thank you. May I may I just add one uh, important. Uh point that uh, actually our snow dragons in their expeditions to Arctic and Antarctic has already done some work on uh, marine uh, plastic. So uh, I don't know our scientists whether they have uh, some uh, uh, important information to share, maybe in the either working group uh, or any other uh, appropriate uh, forum. Thank you very much. Time is running out, but uh, uh, one more question, then, please. Thank you. Uh, Stanislav Sinofonta, Kopi. Uh, you mentioned that climate ch Asian countries experiencing climate change locally, and uh, but climate change occurs uh, in, in the Arctic occurs because of the human activities in, in the world, in including Asia. And Asian countries are biggest emitters of CO2. And I'm wondering what real actions are taken to reduce uh, greenhouse gas emission and what real action would will be taken towards indigenous communities, sustainable development. Thank you. Okay, uh, I um, I'd like to take this question. So, uh, although uh, this question may not necessarily <laughs> address to me, uh, yes, uh, climate change. Uh, we um, uh, all know that uh, it is uh, uh, a fundamental uh, problem for uh, not only the Arctic but also for uh, the whole uh, planet. 
uh, and we know that the meeting is going on now in Poland right now. And uh, um, I saw uh, some of the um, uh, perspective uh, of the meeting, uh, some are optimistic, some are uh, not very much uh, optimistic. Uh, I think uh, what is important uh, is for uh, all the countries to really uh, take um, uh, active uh, actions. Uh, we know that uh, um, the so-called national uh, contribution, uh, nationally determined contribution, uh, is not enough uh, in this total amount. Uh, so we, uh, will, uh, uh, we will uh, see that uh, whether uh, in, the uh, in the future we can uh, really uh, increase our efforts to do it. Uh, and uh, we know that uh, it, is, uh, it will really take, uh, some, uh, really, uh, take uh, some time to make uh, a substantial change. I know the economy must uh, follow and technology must follow. And not only slo slogans, not only legal and political will, but also uh, economy, uh, technology must, be, uh, must support uh, the uh, national uh, determined contribution. Otherwise, uh, you will not have the means, real means, to deal with climate change. Because climate change, at the end, is an e is e economic and te technological uh, problem. Uh, only at that level, when we are able to solve the problem, so we can uh, deal with climate change. Uh, I know that uh, in terms of uh, data and figures, uh, they are not uh, that uh, promising. Uh, but still, uh, we, uh, we, we will have to try to uh, solve the problem uh, at the economic and technological level. Uh, otherwise, uh, there is no, uh, there is no uh, uh, way, a, rea a real way uh, out of the question, including uh, the plastic issue. Uh, if, we, if we look around us, we uh, have so many, uh, so many things that are uh, using uh, plastic. So what is the substitute? So this is a question uh, facing all of us. Uh, climate change, the same, I think. Who wants to briefly? Uh, just a quick uh, response to, to your question. Uh, I think that's a very important issue, and then my government, uh, Japanese people, attach greater importance to climate change, uh, its influence, uh, not in this part of the Earth, but uh, on the Arctic as well. So I think uh, one thing uh, important, we have to do important, is now being discussed, as I said, in Poland, COP24. And then probably current efforts uh, may not be enough uh, to contain the increase of uh, temperature up to two degrees. So I think uh, we have to redouble our effort uh, to really reduce uh, the green gas. So. Japan, on our part, of course, uh, we will strictly implement our uh, national uh, plan, but at the same time, we are very much uh, willing to help others, in particular developing country, to uh, reduce uh, their emission. Uh, so that's one thing. And another important thing is that we would like to know, or everybody wants to know what's really happening on the Arctic. So that's why I said that it's very important to monitor and also clarify the mechanism uh, the surrounding the Arctic. Uh, so uh, as I said, uh, Japan and others uh, uh, use satellites, for example, and then the observing the level of uh, greenhouse gases. Uh, so we need uh, that kind of uh, sort of technologies and also I think we need to, to know what's really happening and how, for example, the indigenous peoples feel the change uh, on the ground. Uh, thereby, uh, we, we just can find a way uh, to really uh, 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 find a way to uh, have a uh, most effective uh, measures to really tackle uh, global warming. 
I'm just going to stop. Can I, I one voice? Uh, you know, the uh, warming, global warming due to CO2, it will be amplified in the Arctic area. So we call this uh, Arctic amplification. And even we keep the CO2 uh, temperature increase up to 1.5 degrees throughout the globe, in the Arctic, we will experience maybe five degrees increase. So in that sense, we related to Arctic should be much, uh, uh, let's say, we should much stronger this uh, uh, reduction of CO2 is required for Arctic science. Thank you. Uh, in closing, concluding, uh, I would like to make a three uh, short points about what we have discussed at this session. The first point to, to make is that uh, three Northeast Asian countries share many common elements concerning the Arctic. The three countries joined the Arctic Council as permanent observers simultaneously in 2013. They also signed the Central Arctic Ocean Fisheries Agreement as one of 10 parties to the agreement last October. They have an interest in preserving the fragile ecosystem of Arctic as well as sustainable use of energy and fishery resources and the exploration of shipping routes in the Arctic. The second point to prove from the first point, China, Japan, and Korea have an annual trilateral high-level dialogue on the Arctic since 2016. Third point is that they put the uh, priority on scientific research cooperation with the Arctic and non-Arctic states. Finally, I hope three countries will uh, take into account uh, what we discussed this meeting, including the idea of uh, establishing the working group the under the our the dialogue. Okay, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.